What did you like about, I'm kind of asking everybody, it's a modern day Nancy, you know, this film started in the 1930s, I mean not the film, the book started in the 1930s, what makes that so unique, how did you love playing modern day Nancy Drew film? Yeah, it, it was it was awesome seeing it come back to life, obviously I don't know if George was written as what I am, um, so I think it was really cool to see that there was there was a, a need to look like the world out out, out, out in, these, in these streets, um, in these streets. <laughs> there was a need to look like the world and I'm really happy that we pushed that. I'm really happy that I am able to be George and I, and I, I can show that George is anybody, you know, George is a girl with big curly hair and, and, and I think it was important. So I, I'm happy to bring it back and, and to show what the world looks like. Definitely. Do you feel like you thought about represent, representation a lot when filming this movie? Like was that in the back? Absolutely. I'm really glad that they wanted my big hair and I'm really glad that that I was able to be authentic Zoe and, and authentic George as well, you know, whatever that means. But like I, I'm really, really grateful that we were able to bring a little black girl into, into uh, you know, Twin Elms. I love it. Um, and last question, would you say that you are as brave as Nancy Drew in real life? No, <laughs> me either. <It's> okay. <laughs> no, I think Nancy. Nancy definitely leads the way in that. But I, but from filming, from filming, I, I definitely took that away. I was like, be more brave, take more chances, investigate more things, ask more questions, and Nancy teaches that. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time for sure.